You might be familiar with these cookies. They are called Spekulatios and we have them in Germany every year Christmas. But they're not really from Germany. They're originally from the Netherlands, so they're Dutch. Uh, however, most Germans, I think, believe that they are German. So this is what these cookies look like. They are baked in a mold and uh, they're very crisp. I personally don't like crisp cookies too much. I like them more if they are thicker and not so crisp. Um, that's why I don't usually eat these. However, last year I stumbled upon a recipe from a German YouTuber, her name is Bea and her channel is called Bea's Kitchen and she has amazing recipes. I really love watching her and she came up with a recipe that I would call Speculatius Oreos. So I guess you get the idea and they are so delicious. So we're basically baking Speculatius but I'm making them a little thicker and they will get a filling and they look amazing and they taste so good. Last year I just couldn't stop eating them. So let me show you how you can make these. So these are the ingredients you need. You need 250 grams of all-purpose flour, 50 grams of almond flour, 120 grams of sugar, then you need 8 grams of Speculatio spice and uh, this is something we can buy in Germany usually um, but you will probably have to order these somewhere else or you make them yourself and that's what I did and the recipe and video how to do that is here. Then you need an egg, 100 grams of butter, 1 teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of cinnamon, also some almond extract and then for the filling you need 50 grams of butter, one tablespoon of hot milk, a quarter of a teaspoon of vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract and 100 grams of confectioner's sugar. Now this is really easy. I basically have to put all the ingredients for the dough into my mixing bowl and then mix it. And I of course first put in the dry ingredients and I'm adding the baking powder and I mix this a little bit through. Also the spices. the Speculatio spice. I saw that some people sell it on Etsy. So just if you need to find a sauce, that could be one. So then I'm adding a quarter of a teaspoon of the almond extract. The egg. And the butter will go in in a little bit. looks very well mixed and I, I can already smell the Speculatius spice um, and it's a typical Speculatius smell or scent. Very Christmassy. So in the end you always have to use your hands to turn this into a real dough. I think I forgot to mention this. Of course, like always, there is a blog post here for this recipe with all the quantities and you can print it and uh, you can also switch between the metric measurements and the US customary measurements. Okay, so this is more, more turning into a nice ball of dough, as you can see. And I'll wrap this now in my beeswax fabric and put this into the fridge for about 50 minutes. So I just took this out of the fridge 
it's cool now and has soaked a little bit through. I want to roll this now and to be honest this dough is a little difficult to roll. Usually the Speculatius cookies would be made in a mold. Um, so we have to be a little bit patient with the rolling out of the dough. But you will get there eventually. Okay, so this looks good now. Uh, now I want to uh, mention my cookie cutter and uh, this is uh, something that I saw in that video that I talked about earlier and I absolutely loved it. So this is a cookie cutter um, that also makes an impression of a picture and I choose the one with the Christmas tree but there are more designs in here and you can choose different designs like this little, ah, I'll leave this out, maybe I will use it in a little bit. So this goes in here and this goes in here and this is how I cut my cookies and I will put a link to this um, cookie cutter below this video in the description of the video on YouTube and make it easier for you to find it if you want to have the same one. But you can also of course use just a regular round shaped or whatever shaped cookie cutter for this. Alright, so let's start and cut some cookies here. Okay. There you see it. This is what it looks like. It goes right there. And you can take a little bit of flour and put the cutter in there so that the dough doesn't stick to it too much. Here's another one. So I baked these cookies at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 180 degrees Celsius, for 10 minutes. Uh, the second load will go into the oven in just a bit, but I want to remove the cookies from the baking sheet immediately so they don't continue to bake. baking these cookies need about 10 minutes to cool down completely and during this time I'm preparing the filling. So first I take the butter and I will whip the butter now until it's really foamy. Okay now I'm adding the confectioner's sugar. And the milk. And also the vanilla extract. I'm using this, uh, what is it called, vanilla bean paste. I really love this stuff. Alright, mix this. Okay, so this is the cream that I'm using in the cookies. And um, from the cookie dough I got 40 cookies and that will make, when I pair them up, 20 cookies, so 20 Speculatius Oreos. I fill this into this pastry bag and 
When the cookies are cooled, I will start with the filling. do the filling. So I set a little dot on each of these cookies. And then I cover it with a second cookie. This is the Speculatius Oreo. So they have to go into the fridge now so that the filling can set. And I keep them in the fridge actually before I'm eating them because that's how I like them most. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is really worth trying. If you like this recipe, please give me a thumbs up. Um, wait for the next video that will come up in just a few seconds and thank you for watching.